A week ago, I showed you this AC to DC offline converter that I built myself using the TNY276 controller IC from Power Integration. I explained in that video how I built the circuit, what tools I used for design and how the circuit was not working properly. So I suggest you watch that video first if you haven't seen it. This video is about how I solved the problem. So let's talk about that. First of all, thanks to all the nice people who left a comment on that video with a suggestion on what they thought was wrong with my circuit. So I wasn't sure if the polarity of the windings mattered that much and this was the most suggested idea but I was following the datasheet as well as the design software from Power Integrations when I designed the uh, layout and connected the windings and I connected my transformer according to their drawings which is like this start of primary winding goes to MOSFET drain that is the negative rail and the start of the secondary goes to the anode of the diode once again this is all in the datasheet of the control IC However, I started reading about flyback converters and it turns out the literature on the subject always presents the drawings the other way around. The start of the primary goes to the positive rail and the start of the secondary goes to the negative rail. So the first thing I did was to solder some wires to my transformer as you can see here so that I can try it in different uh, combinations. But that didn't help. The circuit was behaving the same no matter how I connected the transformer. And I think the way you connect the uh, windings does matter, but the only thing that matters is that you have the uh, start and end points opposite to each other. Like the primary start to the positive rail and the secondary start to the negative rail. But you can do it the other way around as well, like a primary start to negative rail and secondary start to positive rail. Just don't have both rails uh, starts connected to the same rail. So I moved on to the next idea and changed these two biasing resistors from 2 mega ohms to 4.7 mega ohms because I noticed the values of these uh, resistors vary according to the actual device selected in the design software and I think they also vary with the desired input voltage range. But that didn't help either. So I also increased the bypass capacitor to 10 microfarads because according to the datasheet that would increase the current limit. But that didn't make any change to the behavior of the circuit it was still going into thermal protection. Somebody also suggested that I should put a load on the output of this circuit because it uh, might not run okay without a load on the output and I also tried that but it, it only made it go into thermal protection faster. Some people suggested that a missing snubber network across the primary could be the problem but I already knew my circuit was going into thermal protection so I wasn't sure a missing snubber RC network could cause my chip to overheat and go into thermal protection. After all the circuit wasn't loaded at all just regulating in standby so the voltage peaks couldn't have been that high and I also had the basic uh, clamping circuit with the Zener and the fast diode, so I didn't bother implementing that snubber. Instead, I turned my attention to the control IC. I was using the TNY276 and this was a choice based on what I read in the transformer datasheet. It said compatible with TNY267-277 and to me that sounded like the whole range of ICs between those two so I kind of went for what was available and what I thought I could reuse later in other designs but a viewer commented and said maybe the transformer datasheet meant it was compatible only with those two uh, considering the slash between the part numbers and it kind of makes sense now because the TNY267 is part of the Tiny Switch 2 family while the TNY277 is part of the Tiny Switch 3 family. They even have different pinouts. So I don't think they would have specified the whole range of devices across different product families in the datasheet of the transformer. But what those two have in common is the same power rating of 13 watts. 
So with that in mind, I ordered a couple of uh, TNY277, which brought me to this part 2 video. After installing the TNY277, the circuit started working fine. It didn't go into thermal protection anymore. And if you think about it, the only difference between what I originally used, the TNY276 and the TNY277, is their power rating. So now I'm thinking this transformer might have a low inductance at the working frequency of the control IC, that is 132 kilohertz, and it might pass too much current through the internal MOSFET causing it to overheat. When switching to the TNY277, that current might be within limits due to the increased power capability of the TNY277. So what are your thoughts on this? Could this be the explanation of what was happening? It would be really useful to have a current probe for my oscilloscope to measure the uh, current waveform on the primary, but as you all know, those are quite expensive and uh, soldering a 1 ohm resistor in series with the transformer for measuring the current is not the best idea because that could uh, change the circuit behavior. I even tested the circuit with a continuous load of 0.5 amps at 5 volts and it performed ok. The temperature of the IC went up to 65 degrees C but I think that's acceptable considering the DIY PCB with limited thermal dissipation. I also did a test with the same load but with the uh, start points of the uh, transformer reversed just like in the uh, general flyback literature but I got exactly the same temperature on the IC for the same load so I think this confirms my point on the windings start points no pun intended I will continue working with this type of uh, circuits to improve my uh, knowledge on this architecture thank you for watching this video I hope you found it uh, interesting your comments were very helpful and I will see you next time